Ah, yes. Good morning. It's, it's a beautiful Saturday today. You know, I wanted to make another video. I'm going to be checking in with y'all every day. Every day. Why? Because somebody has to. Somebody needs to talk to y'all. All my brothers, my sisters, and everybody else. Like, this world's crazy. There's, 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 there's no refuting that, rebuking that, or reducing that. Like, this is a crazy ass world here. You know, a lot of people, they turn me online, they always say, touch grass. I'm touching grass. You can't never say, I don't touch grass. But anyway, today, right? Today is a beautiful day. We in October. You know, the weather's starting to change. It's getting colder. Right? But if you look at that, the title of the video, which I already thought of, is Survival. Survival is the name of the game. Right? That's what all of us is trying to do. Unless you just got mountains of money, you got resources, you got a giant network of people who are willing to help you out, bail you out, whatever, at a moment's notice, this video's not for you. This video's not for you. This video is for anybody who has a day-to-day -day grind. Almost nobody's excluded. Like, even people on YouTube, Twitch, they got a day-to-day -day grind. Because if they don't grind, they're going to lose their audience. They're going to lose their resources, their endorsements. They, you know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna lose money. All right? So they have a day-to-day -day grind, too. Now, when you start making a certain amount of money, you get used to it you get used to it. And when you stop making that certain amount of money, it could be devastating. It really can, because it's, it's real easy to not make money. All you gotta do is just sit on your ass all day. That ain't hard to do. Shoot. We was doing that, what, two, three years ago? For about two years. But no, nah, like, Survival's the name of the game, right? That's what any and, and all of us is trying to do. We trying to survive. We trying to survive. I just seen a bee, you know, skating across the grass. And that's 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 a perfect example of what I'm saying. That little that little bumblebee is just trying to survive. The ants we see crawling on the ground, scurrying along, scabbing it along, eating them Cheetos that you left on the front porch. Yes. They are just trying to survive. They are just trying to survive. That's the name of the game. Everything you see before you is trying to survive. The plants, the animals, him saying, even even a, you light a fire, right? And it, it, it starts to consume something. It's going to keep going until it just can't no more. Why? Because it wants to survive. That's the name of the game in this realm, in this domain, in this dimension, in this universe, in this galaxy. That's what it is. Survival. What's the best way to survive? Self-preservation. Preserving yourself from things that you deem dangerous, irrelevant, unnecessary, or even foolish, stupid, you know what I mean? We seeing a lot of people crashing out in the attempt to survive. Now that might sound a little crazy, a little wacky, a little twisted, right? But 
a lot of the people that you see crashing out, they crashing out because they trying to get put on. They trying to get seen. They trying to get acknowledged. This is the age of the crash, crash out. Oh, galaxy gas. I, I, I. You know what I'm saying? We all got our vices. You know what I'm saying? Some people like to drink. Some people like to smoke. Some people like to have intercourse. Some people like to do things we ain't gonna discuss. Okay, these bumblebees are starting to gather around me now. I am not a place for a nut, so I'm slowly gonna walk to the bed. Whatever. Hope you can still hear me. Let me get uh, closer. I'm getting off the camera. But look, right? Back, well, piggybacking off the last video I made that I talked about dating, right? Because that's that's going to tie into to what I'm about to discuss here. Survival. I realized that for the opposite sex, you see what sex I am? Yes, I was born this way. For the opposite sex, survival is easier for them when they have someone as a support system. I think the main reason for that is because of pregnancy. When a woman is pregnant, there's a lot that she cannot do for herself. There's a lot that she can, but there's a lot that she can't. It's it's harder for a woman to protect herself while she's pregnant as opposed to if she is not. A woman can run faster when she's not pregnant. A woman can jump higher when she's not pregnant. You know what I mean? Their mobility slows down. They have more weight to carry around. You know what I mean? So if they're ever in that situation, it's more beneficial for them to have somebody or somebody's around to help in that process. You know what I mean? It takes a village. It really, really does. It truly does. And the village that we have today is online. We have online villages. And that's why the kids today are the way that they are talking about skibbity toilet and ohio yacht because that's their village that's where they're being raised i'm a 90s baby i was raised with uh, uh um power rangers dragon ball z courage the cowardly dog uh metabots digimon pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh. you know what i'm saying like Zelda, Smash Bros. Like, that's what we grew up on. It's other stuff, you know, like the same kids in my age group, they grew up watching Godfather, uh, uh, um, South Central. I, I saw that, that's a good movie. Like, we, we grew up, we, we all picked our path. We all picked our path. Now, I'm not saying that all the kids of today are, are brain rotted, but that's their village. That's where they, they coming up with, with Minecraft and Skippity Toilet and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, women, they do better when they have a community or somebody on their side. Men, the best way for us to survive is to learn how to do it. We need to learn. We need to apply ourselves and think and grow, expand. Let's expand, let's grow, let's go. That's what we gotta do. We gotta, we gotta better ourselves by gaining knowledge and understanding. Those are two different things. Knowing something and understanding something. Are they the same? Maybe. 
but what what I just said was they're two different things. So let me try to explain that, right? When you know something, right? It may be hard to explain what you know. But that doesn't take away from the fact that you still know it. Right? When you understand something, you can explain it in depth. You can pick it apart, break it down because you know it like the back of your hand. Understanding is a wellspring of life. You know what I mean? That that Bible, the Bible says that understanding is a wellspring of life. I don't know what scripture it is. I'm not a, a theologian, but I grew up in a house with a, a heaven praying woman, a Bible thumping woman who actually became a minister. That's another thing I failed to mention. Probably the most important thing. God also is used for survival. When we just don't understand things, when we don't know, that's who we call out to. You know what I'm saying? That Bible, the basic instructions before leaving earth, it's so real. It's so real. On the man's side, right, it tells us, it says, it is better to be in a desert, in a desolate, a desolate land with no buyer around, than it is to share a house with a contentious woman. What's a contentious woman? A angry, bitter, spiteful, vengeful, aggressive, just, just always got to have some type of chaos around her. A woman that always wants to contend. You know what I'm saying? It is better for a man to be alone in a desert. The Bible says this. So, survival, right? If the name of the game is survival, what's the best way to survive? I'll say it again. Self-preservation. Preserving yourself from all the stupid shit around. All the stupid shit around us. Preserving ourselves from danger, stupidity, unnecessary things, right? That's how we survive. Gathering food, resources, understanding knowledge, wisdom. You know what I mean? That's what, that's what this is about. All the stuff that we see people doing today is to survive. It's to survive. When you see these girls on Instagram shaking their ass, selling their body, because that's what they doing. You know what I'm saying? They doing it to survive. They're in what you call survival mode. Desperate people do desperate things. That's why I say this is the age of the crash out because everybody is doing desperate, unnecessary things to go viral so they can get a following and they can get money or whatever. But a lot of people fail to realize that that 15 minutes of fame wears out. You have to stay relevant if that's the route that you want to go. So what's the best way to do that? Branding. You need to become a brand. People need to see your face and relate it to something that they can support, they can purchase, they can be a part of. Because I realized as a content creator, shout out to Asmund Gold, because he's the one that revealed this to me. He said, your channel, whatever you're doing, like, you are a brand. You're, you're, you're a brand. And you have to look at your channel and whatever it is that you're doing in that way. Right? That's how you survive on YouTube. You make a brand. Everybody has merch. You know what I mean? Like, every YouTuber has stuff that they want to sell you. 
Even I have stuff I want to sell. You see this shirt that I'm wearing? Right? Right? I'm 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 trying to make an anime called The Dragon Seal 7. It's already copywritten. I already have it trademarked or whatever. I can prove that to you if, if you want. But the thing about it is, in order to do this, right? In order to do this thing, it's going to cost a lot of money. It's going to take a lot of time, a lot of creativity, and a lot of people. In order for me to do this, I need a big following. I'm not asking for it. I'm seeing if I just post every day and talk to y'all. You know what I mean? We're going to have these daily discussions, right? If I just come to y'all and talk to y'all and y'all see what I got, if you want to support, that's fine and dandy. I'm not pushing it. I'm not even telling you to subscribe. This, this is a free service. I do this because I want to do YouTube. I've always been doing YouTube. I always, it's always been a hobby. Like, my channel is a gaming channel. I've, that's what's mostly on my channel because that's what I like to do. Games, video games. Back, backtracking to the point of the video, survival. Video games and anime and things of that nature helped me survive. Explain it to me. Glad you asked. Right? I've learned a lot of life lessons from anime. Naruto, he taught me how to believe in myself and to never give up. But that's a trope with a lot of anime, right? But I'm gonna say that one because that's like, that's like the, 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 one of the main poster boys of, of, of shonen, shonen protagonists outside of Goku and Luffy and whatever. But yeah, Naruto, Naruto showed us the importance of believing in yourself and never giving up, right? One Piece showed us the importance of friendship and you know saying the importance of having people that have your back no matter what, right? Dragon Ball Z showed us you got to keep gaining, bro. You, you can't stop. You got to keep going. You got to keep gaining. That's what Goku always did. He always was like, all right, I'm ready for the next level. Like, I'm, I'm ready for the next level, the next devil. Like, let's go. Like, Goku understands that... This is what he lives for. This is how he survives, by getting stronger. That's what the, the, the whole essence of a Zenkai boost for the Saiyan race is. When you, what don't kill you, make you stronger. You survived, you survived, you survived, you lived. It didn't kill you, Zenkai boost. Whoops. Real talk, like a lot of anime, in my opinion, it really just depicting black people. Dragon Ball Z, look at their hair, bro. That black, nappy ass hair. You know what I'm saying, dude? Chihai's in uh, um, um, Naruto. Like, my brother, God rest his soul, rest in peace. He was like, man, dude, Chihai, they like black people. I, I was tripping when he first said it, but it makes sense. It makes sense. We crash out just like they be doing. Like, no bullshit. Black Air Force energy all the way. But look. <laughs> um, survival, right? Video games help me to survive because being in a house is a great way to survive. No, seriously. While the majority of my peers were outside trying to rob people at gunpoint, steal from people, sell drugs on the block, you know what I'm saying? While they was out there doing that, I was in the crib playing the game. I'm over 30 years old. I survived by preserving myself in the house. Yes. Don't get me wrong. I go out. I'm outside right now. We outside. But look, right? Sometimes it's better to just be in a house, bro. Sometimes it's better not to go to that party. Sometimes it's better not to hang out with them people when you know they about to go do some dumb shit. Sometimes it's better 
to just chill. To go to sleep in your safe, warm bed and wake up in your safe, warm bed. Going out late night, drinking and driving, partying, bro. Because I know, I know plenty of people that did that drunk driving shit. I never did it because I already knew it was a bad idea. But, 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 but a dawn in a war could come for you because you were none the wiser. You know what I mean? As human beings, it is imperative for us to understand what's going on, what we're getting into, who we're dealing with, what we're indulging in, what we're consuming, what we're watching, what we're listening to. All of these things contribute to or diminish our possibility and probability of survival, right? Now, another thing I want to touch on is depression, right? Because that's something that I fought with in my life three times. I had bouts with depression three times in my life. One was because some girl that I thought I was in love with let me, left me. The next one was because I had a really good job and I lost it. And the third one was when I lost my younger brother. And everything in my life just fell apart. But what I'm here to say is I survived all of that because I wanted to. You look at the animal kingdom, right? You look at, you even see animals grieving the death of their kind. But guess what? They don't stay in a state of grief. Why? Because they'll get eaten alive. If even in the animal kingdom, they don't get to wallow in their filth and grief all day, all year round. What makes you think you can? Animals, in a sense, they have it harder and, and easier. Survival is harder for them. But life, living is not. Community is not. Right? Dang, he's hurt. You know, ugh, you know. Look, right? We all are trying our best to survive. I used to want to be a rapper because I thought that was the best way for me to survive. You know what I mean? I'm realizing now the best way for me to survive is to just simply stack my resources. Stack my resources until I have the necessary the necessary amount of money, the necessary amount of support the necessary amount of people to live the life that I want to live. I used to think I could do it alone. No. We are social creatures. As human beings, we are social creatures. That's why I'm going to tap in with y'all every day to check on y'all and talk to y'all because somebody got to. Somebody needs to talk to you. I hope that every day you're getting better. I hope that every day you are pushing your bad habits further and further away from you. I hope that every day you're improving. That's why I'm showing y'all where I'm at right now. I have a bad habit, right? We all do, but I could have even worse habits, right? This is how I survive. Right? You can die from mental overload. You can. From having so much anxiety and stress placed upon you based on the way you see things. 
based on the way your mind processes life, right? That stress can take you out. Now, I really just want to uh, do a little walk and talk now. I feel like walking, right? Now, I made it past 30 years of age because I wanted to survive. I wanted to survive. It seems like a lot of people out here nowadays, they don't want to survive. And you know what? I don't even blame them. I don't. The insanity meter in this world has gone sky high. Bro. Every day I wake up. Every day I wake up and I'm like, wow. I got another chance to do better. I got another chance to get it right. He gave me another chance. It, it, it's not over. I could still do something. I could still do better. I could still do more. Right? I'm going to start making these daily videos just to talk to y'all, man. Because you need people to talk to. I want my channel to be a place where down there in my comment section, you can vent. I want to talk to y'all, man. I want to talk to y'all. I want to I want to make sure y'all are all right. If I can help one man, one woman, one child from crashing out and surviving just that much longer. I think that's great, man. I think that's great. So don't be scared, man. Don't don't be afraid, bro. Talk to me in that comment section, man. What's 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 going on with you today? What's making it hard for you to survive right now? What are you struggling with? That's what my comment section is going to be. A place where we can just talk, man. Go ahead, tell me what's on your mind, bro. And watch watch what I reply. Because one thing I'm going to say about my channel, if you on my channel and you ain't got nothing better to do than be racist, be a bully, come here with all that nonsense, that bullshit, if you ain't got nothing positive to contribute, or you ain't you ain't got nothing you really want to discuss or you curious about, bro. You know what I'm saying? You see that uh top right of your screen? That's an X. You can click that, you ain't gotta see my face no more. Or, you know what I'm saying? Along, I don't know, the right side or the left side of this video, it's a whole bunch of other <laughs> whole bunch of other videos you can click on. You ain't gotta look at my ugly mug. You know what I mean? If it's killing you to look at me, I want you to survive. Click on another video. Go on. Go on about your day. You know what I'm saying? But over here, I want to talk to y'all, man. I want to talk to y'all. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's making it difficult for you to survive. Because I realized that, bro, a lot of us is crashing out because we ain't got nobody to talk to. We don't have nobody to talk to, bro. So I'm going to say, talk to me. Talk to me. I want to talk to you. Don't crash out, bro. Let's, let's, let's survive, bro. Let's survive. Let's try to anyway. We don't know what's going to happen from the day till tomorrow. That hurricane, them hurricanes. 
it's just it's just too much too much going on for us to know what's gonna happen today, tomorrow, next week, next year, whatever. The name of the game is survival, right? So let's survive, bro. Don't crash out. Talk it out, bro. Talk to somebody. You may not want to talk to me, and that's fine, bro. Talk to somebody, man. Don't just crash out, bro. It's too it's too many young niggas crashing out nowadays, bro. I thought it was bad when I was a young nigga. Bro, it's even worse now. Bro, don't crash out, bro. Talk to somebody. I mean, I know some people... They don't want to go to therapy, and I, and I feel that. I don't really feel that shit either, man. Telling random people your your, your problems, and and it's their job. Like you know how you clock in, you don't really, you ain't passionate about your job. It's the same way for a therapist, yo. So I understand that they don't really give a fuck, especially when you're doing it for such a like, oh yeah, another one who's got who's got wife issues, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. But look right. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Class is dismissed. Professor Hawk slash Hawk Sensei signing out. But, you know, I want to start making these every day, man. Make a video. Check in with y'all. Make sure y'all doing good. My comment section is, is a place where you can vent, man. Talk to me. I want to talk to you. Class dismissed.